So let's add genre to the data that we retrieve from the database. So I go to home controller first, and in our index, we get all the songs you can see right here. However, if we get it this way, we don't actually get the genre. Remember, the genre ID is the foreign key, but the song itself in the table does not actually have a property or a field for genre. So we have to include genre into the context that we retrieve and pass into the songs list. So we're gonna modify this statement. We'll go to context and songs dataset, and we will also get a genre for each of those songs. But in order to do that, we need to also create a dataset for the genre. So let's go back to our song context, and over here, where we have the dataset for the song, I'm going to copy that. We're also going to create a dataset for the genre. And I'll call this genres. So back to our home controller, and now we can access it. So after we get all the songs, I want to specify that I want to include, and the thing I want to include is the genre. So in our lambda expression, I will go to m goes into m dot genre. So it will not only include the song, but we will also go to the genre data set, and it will get the genre based on the ID for each of those songs. And that's the only thing that we need to modify here. But we also need to modify the view, so let's open the index view. And we're gonna add a genre here in our table. So after a year and before rating, I'm going to create another header for the genre. And I'm also going to retrieve genre and pass it here. So after the year, I'm going to create another TD and I'll go to a song dot and here we will go to the genre because we have genre property available in our model now. So we can go to it and then we will retrieve the name. You can see we have the name and we have the genre ID. So in this case, we want to display the name. Now remember, genre is a class, so when we go to a song model, this is what we are going to. We go to genre, and from there, we will pick whatever property of the genre class we want. And like I said, we want the name. And everything else really stays the same. Let's see if we get it. And we get an exception. It says invalid object name genres. And when we scroll down, you can see it's complaining over here where we retrieve the genres from the context. And this may be quite confusing, especially to the beginners. The mistake that we made was that we created the DB set in our context after we created the database. So when we go to our database, you can see it created a table genre. It it created it based on the model, not the data set. So I could change the name to genre in our DB set. And if I run it now, you can see it actually works. So we have to be careful about this. When you create a database and only have the model, but not the DB set, it takes the model and that's how it names it. So it simply named it as genre. So that is the name of our table. And like I said, you could leave it this way. However, I want to make it uniform since we are having a table called songs. I want another table called genres because obviously we have multiple genres there. That's a common practice. And also I want to show you how to fix these kind of problems. So what we have to do now after we created the data set, we need to create another migration. So I'm going to rename this to genres the way it's supposed to be. And I'll go to Tools, and then Package Manager Console, and I'm going to create another migration. So add migration, and I'll call this one Fix Genre Table, and press Enter. And it created another migration based on the data set that we just changed. You can see it first drops and renames the table, 
and then it adds a new one. It adds the foreign key again, and it adds the table genres. You can see over here, it's not gonna be genre anymore. So let's now update the database and press enter. And the update is done. Let's go to SQL Server Object Explorer. This still says genre. Let me refresh it. And you can see now it says genres. And if I uh, open the data, nothing changed. We still have the data. It still ran the on model creating and populated it with our data. The same with the songs. If we go to songs, ID for the genre is associated with each song. So now when we run it, it should work because everything is as it's supposed to be. And we get the genres back. Except this time, we have the data set correct and we have the table in the database named the way it's supposed to be with plural for genres. So now if I go to add a new song, we still don't have the genre there. The same for the edit or delete. That's because we didn't add these into the views yet. But before we add them to the views, we need to go to our songs controller and add the genre into our actions. 